Hey, this is Charlie with Tidman Metalworks. Welcome back. Uh, let's learn to change the text in a different style of monogram. So go to your uh, so go to your Tinman Metalworks free giveaway folder. Open up the monograms folder. Uh, let's grab this airplane right here. It's opposite of the one we just previously did. Double click that, open it up into Inkscape. Now we're just going to go over here, grab the text tool, select it, put it anywhere on the screen, type out the text that you want to put in there, hit the selection tool when you're done with that, pull it over onto here, drag it to the size that you want. And you can just do that by changing, grabbing the corner arrow and changing the size. We're going to select the text, hold shift, select the monogram. We're going to go up here to the alignment tool, select it, come down here to center it. So we're just going to center the text on our monogram. Now it's centered. Now we're going to click off, we're going to come back here and we're just going to select the text. We're going to go up here to path hit select object to path. We're going to go over here to object, select ungroup, and that's going to put a little dotted box around each individual letter. Go back to path, hit combine. Now it's all one piece again. Hold shift, select the back, come up here to path, and go difference. And that's going to cut it out. Now it's cut out of there. Now we got to make sure that the center of the A and the center of the P don't fall out. So we're going to zoom in to the text. We're going to come up here to the box tool. And what I like to do is, is uh, select, just kind of draw a box that's about the same width as the font is. Come up here, grab your selection tool. We're going to put this over here on the A. We're going to, with this here, we're going to right click it. We're going to duplicate it and that's going to make another one for the P over here. Come back to the one that you made for the A, select it, hit it again to put these round corners on it. We're going to put this as close as we can. To cover that A up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select this. We're going to hold shift, select the backing. Now they're both selected. We're going to come up here to path and we're going to go union. And that's going to weld that in there. Now you're never going to get that perfect by doing it that way. So come up here to the node tool, select it, and it's going to put all the nodes that are in here on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to select these two that we added in there because it's jagged. If you zoom into this real close, it's going to, you're going to see that it's got those jagged corners. So we're going to hit the node tool and we're going to take this and we're just going to delete it. We're going to select it and just hit your delete key and put that back straight. Grab this little arm, put it back straight. Do the same thing again. Select it, hit the delete key and it's going to take those nodes away and now you got a perfectly straight line again. Now I'm just going to hit the minus key on my number pad and that, that's going to zoom you in. Plus key or plus key is going to zoom you in. Minus key is going to zoom you out. We're going to go over here and we're going to do the same thing to the P. Oh, we're on the nodes tool still, so we got to hit the little selection tool again, which is this arrow up here. We're going to grab this, put it where we want it to go. Leaving it selected, we're going to hold down shift, select the backing. Now they're both selected. We're going to come up here to path. We're going to hit union, and that's going to weld it in there. We're going to go back over here to the nodes tool. And we're just going to select these nodes that we put in there. We're going to delete them out. And now that's a straight line from the top to the bottom again. Now your center of your A will stay. The center of the P will stay. And you can cut this out. Now if you want to resize it, you can go up here to hit your selection tool. Select your piece. Everything defaults into millimeters. I work in inches, so I'm going to change this to inches right here. And this currently is 
4.555 inches high by 23 inches wide. Now if you want to change the size of this, just hit the lock aspect ratio button here. That's going to lock it in. You can grab the corners of this and drag it to whatever size you want. And it's, As you drag it, these numbers are going to change the height and the width. Uh, if you want to change it to, say you want it to be 20 inches wide, highlight this, type in 20, hit enter, and that's going to change that to 20 inches wide by 18.744 high. That's all there is to that. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe button, leave us some comments and suggestions, anything you want to see in the future. Uh, appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button as well. Ring that bell. Thank you.